tyres are flat. The chain's about to rust itself off. Worth it though. Jamie's back. Yeah, yeah Jamie! Let's have a good time. We'll drop the lines and we'll get out there, eh? Trev, are you gonna teach us how to catch some fish or what? Colin's trying to get us close to this little island right here. Happy birthday to you! There's a whole new way of people making a living and creating content. I want to see this guy start to navigate the globe. I got power. You were watching Parley last week, you're driving her this week. It's, it's, it's a beautiful world. Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Buddy, today is super exciting. Every day is exciting lately, but this one's particularly exciting. It is our first ever Patreon meetup on Parlay. So we've got a bunch of Patreons coming down this morning and we're gonna go sailing. There's a little bit of wind and um, we're gonna put the sails up and sail to Tobago Island and uh, have lunch there and then come back and do that again the next day. I'm excited, it's, it just, Going through the canal was incredible, but seeing how excited these guys, the Patreons were, to go through and all of this new adventure that they just went through was just so rewarding. Experience of my life. <laughs> and it makes it so much more enjoyable for us to see them getting that, that uh, excitement and pleasure out of it. So um, I feel like today's gonna be the same thing. A lot of these guys haven't sailed before. Um, so to be able to take them sailing for the first time in their lives is really rewarding. So I'm excited. I'm gonna get the boat cleaned up a little bit. Lindo just took a shit in the tramps. So I'm gonna clean that up <laughs> and then we'll uh, get these patrons on the boat. Let's go. Right, so we're gonna try to get this bike off of this boat somehow. Um, it's gotta go from here to there. Let's get this thing out of here. It's been the pain of our lives for the last two weeks. <laughs> All the tires are flat. The chain's about to rust itself off. Worth it though. That's totally just gonna break off. Hang on, hang on, you're latched. Hang on. Good. Have you got the back? Yeah, I got a hand. Oh, fuck. Yep. yep. Look at that. Alright, hang on. Let, let, yeah, hop over, you good? Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, back wheel's on. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Good lord. That was super easy. <laughs> Should I ride it out of here or what? Yes, ride it down the dock. Depends on how you want that relationship to go. Yeah. <laughs> this is a sponsorship. Yeah. First Patreon has arrived. Greg! How you been? Come on board, brother. How are you, bro? Good to see you again. How are you, brother? Greg. This guy decided to come last second, literally. He booked his flight, what, 24 Just hours ago? Here. He's crazy, man. Just got here. Fucking whiskey. Oh, nice. <laughs> Birthday, big dog. <laughs> I heard you guys celebrating last night. How do you feel? Older. You gotta be at least Tom's 52 birthday today. Right? Just turned 45. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look a day, uh, day older than 43. 39. 39 today. I feel 31. Still. Yeah. Oh, nice. So Greg texts me, he sees, he sees that update on us crashing the drone into the container yeah. ship. The most heartbreaking thing that I've experienced in a while. And uh, he brought us down an, a replacement, which is just amazing. Because I can't get this here in Panama. Dude, thank you so much, man. Cool. Thank you for having us. No worries. Good. Colin. John Moore. John Moore, nice yeah. to meet you. Awesome. Make yourselves at home. Thanks. To the Equatorial Crossing. You can't do it cheaply. Wow. So that's for you guys. 
And that's the good shit. You know that stuff? You know that stuff? <laughs> when did we drink that? On the splash? Your birthday, man. We got one of oh, these. Oh, no, we got it for your birthday. Say, uh, a little, bir a little birdie it. told me you liked it. We did it. We yeah. did it for his uh, the splash. That was the good. splash day. So this yeah. will save us for the equator. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much, Yes, man. sir. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, anytime. You! Don't get into this today. <laughs> no, no, no. How's it going? Doug. Doug, good yeah. to meet you. You too, you too. This is my wife, Tracy. Tracy? Hi. How are you, Tracy? Good to meet you. All right, guys. I want to officially welcome you all to Parlay. So stoked to have you guys here. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to take you guys out today and tomorrow as well. Um, quick intro of the crew. Jamie's back. Yay! Yeah, Jamie! He's been uh, gracing us with his uh, addictive laugh, which uh, gets, the, uh, gets the crew going. Tom's here, the uh, musician. He's gonna sing us a song later, I'm sure. Yes, please. What is it today? Uh, it's his 39th birthday. Happy birthday, Tom. Happy Behind happy me. Birthday. Thank you. Behind me, we have Lena. This is her third Hello. time on the boat. Hi. She's amazing. She works on super yachts. She's a stewardess, so if you need anything, she's your girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is Colleen. She also works on super yachts, but she works on deck. She's just got a new job as a bosun. So she's been super helpful on deck, pulling lines and, and driving the boat as well. So it's her second time on the boat. That's all the crew. Yeah. We got uh, Trevor and Kerry over here. They were uh, buddy boating with us. Um, Trevor's a fisherman. So if we don't catch anything today, it's his fault. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, we got the two Patreons that came through the canal with us. We got Vince and Evan and their wives, girlfriends. They came with us as well. Um, so they've had a few days already. And Daryl as well, who some of you just met. He, he's the owner of Precision Sales. So he gave us a spinnaker when we had hardly any subscribers. He believed in us from the, the beginning and uh, he's got another sale coming our way as well. So we got two days of sailing. We're gonna start from the marina and I think today we might head out east, and come around to Toboga Island. That's kind of the only um, island or anchorage nearby here, unfortunately. But um, I feel like these days are about sailing and about getting to know each other more than the actual destination. So. Um, Tom knows how to sail. Jamie knows how to sail. Colleen's picking You see him look at me and not say anything. Right? <laughs> you saw that. You guys saw that? You saw him look straight at me and then he was like, uh, yeah, in college. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Dave's still got his training wheels on. So if you've got any questions, Dave, you can ask him. <laughs> There's a lot of us on the boat. So even I'm super curious to see how it's going to sail. Um, we may not even move. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool if everyone just like said their name, where they're from, and uh, just maybe what you do for a living or something interesting, and so that we immediately just have a little intro of everyone. I'm John Moore from Austin, Texas, and I'm a business owner and uh, also an ultra distance athlete. I'm Doug and my wife Tracy, and uh, we currently live in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. We're working on getting out too. Okay. Um, over the next five years, we're on one of these. And Make, you know, making it happen. I'm Bill, a retired engineer. Uh, I have a winter in Idaho and summer in Fort Myers, Florida. Fort, okay. oh, wait, I get that back, but I'm retired. So. Uh, that's cool. I'm Steph, I'm an automation engineer uh, from Austin, Texas. Hi, I'm Frank, this is my wife Shannon. We're also from Fort Myers, Florida. We didn't know him that, until just now. Um, I'm a commercial airline pilot, and my wife's a business executive. I'm Evan, uh, from a, <laughs> wow. I'm Evan from uh, Los Angeles, and I have a small AV company. The Cephas! <laughs> hey, I'm Trevor, I'm from Jeffreys Bay, currently sailing La Renoa, next to offshore adventures around, uh, well, around the world, that's the idea. Amazing. Uh, and amazing. the last period. Yes. <laughs> I'm Greg, I'm from Ventura, California, I'm an electrical systems engineer for aerospace. Yeah. I'm uh, Robert Carrico from Boise, Idaho area, and I do uh, software development to my own company with a co-owner, co and uh, cool. glad to be here. Yeah, Andy Cobb from Destin, Florida, and I uh, run a sales team in the telecom business. So the point is to do some sailing, ask as many questions as you want, we'll get you guys up on the helm, driving the boat, uh, trimming the sails, all of that good stuff, and we're also here just to get to know each other. And maybe you do, or maybe you don't realize how much it means to us to have you guys supporting the channel. It's, it blows my mind that people like you guys even exist Seriously. and want to want to want to help us out like that. So it's it gives me great pleasure in uh, taking you guys sailing today and tomorrow. So let's have a good time. We'll drop the lines and we'll get out there, eh? Thanks, everyone. Yeah.
give us a shot? Yeah. Harder than that, Jamie. Yeah, she's going. There we go. All right, cut. All right, we're free. All right, we're off. Sailing day has begun. Trev, you gonna teach us how to catch some fish or what? We're gonna, I've just changed the rigs a little bit, that's all. It's crazy, have you ever been this close to a container? That's nuts. Colin's trying to get us close to this little island right here. This is the only thing that you can really sail to outside of Panama City. This is just a random spot that I've seen on the chart. It comes 14 feet in front and then kind of just dips up. So we'll see if we can just... I'll drop the pick there and then back up and then just tie to one of those trees. We got Greg here on the anchor. I totally missed Trev dive in. So he's pulling our... Uh, our stern line all the way to a tree or a rock or something he's going to tie us down so we've got the anchor up front we've got him uh connecting us to land we're going to pull it tight and hopefully we can stay right here and not hit that reef and not float away here we are just found a random spot saw a couple of trees on the shoreline so we uh tied one to it and here we are dinghy hit it looks sound real how's the water cold nice Ah, uh, you said it was it's cold. It's nice now. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. You. Hey, hey, don't look too closely. Um, we can check it up on you. <laughs> you already found. I got a. I got a bolt loose at the old goose neck. Yeah, yeah. Get <laughs> again. That's yeah. something you need to take take attention of. For sure. Chief Steve. This is so cool. So rewarding. Keep going. Woo! Into about. It's only three oh. inches deep. Oh, how does it feel to have all these people out here, Colin? Unreal. Look at all these smiling faces, man. <laughs> <laughs> You cut yourself? No, no, this is a good no I'll take you to hospital. <laughs> no, right now, right now. I know you guys. We're, so we're African, we're much stronger than that. <laughs> now it's an urchin. Oh, it's did it get you? Urchin you? from, oh. bu from Buckus. Oh man, I hate those things. I love women. For, for comfort and sailing, yeah, I love women. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Happy birthday to you. Come on out of here, Tom. Happy birthday, dear Tom. Happy birthday to you. Go, go, go. Let's see it, buddy. Yeah. Oh, Tom. 39. What? 39. This is what you were six years ago. Right on his chest. 39. All right, so we got Greg here. He came from L.A. This crazy guy booked his flight yesterday, got on the flight last night, went through the night, arrived here, what, 7.30? 6.30. 6.30, got to the boat at 8.30, and he's with us today. Yep. So, dude, tell me, how long have you been watching Parlay? What's the history? Like, how'd you even find out about Colin? You know, I pulled up on Colin when he first was making the episodes, when he just had the hurricane damaged boat, and he was working on it. So I was away for two years, and, and I wasn't watching a lot of TV, didn't uh -huh. have a lot of spare time. And yeah, I came yeah, back, yeah. and I was like, He's got all these extra episodes, so my wife and I binged it, and really? then decided we had to be Patreon, so we okay. started supporting. Oh, so that's how you? Yeah. That's how it came. And about. then I had some free time, so I came down <laughs> for the weekend. Just been watching since the start, since like right at one of the very first 
to episodes. That's yeah. crazy. There's a whole new way of people making a living and creating content mm -hmm. and entertainment, right? And this is a this is something that I do, right? Sailing and adventuring. So, you know, watching Colin just sort through fix, those fix crazy problems. Sort through all the, the, the problem solving and the ev just everything. That she, whole process, she, huh? She loves that. So your wife likes it too, it's not just you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, My wife watches Colin for another reason. We don't need to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit of the background of like how you found Parlay. Why? Because you're into cars, right? You watch like cars. watching people work on things yeah. and travel. Yeah. Colin sure. does both. He works on his boat, travels. So I'd say, oh, uh, you know, check two boxes. Never sailed before in my life. I'm oh, so you're not you're not into sailing? I'm not. A, no, not at all. That's impressive. You know? so we're uh, about to put some sails up. We got a little bit of wind, something like six knots. And then go into the south tailing system there. There we go. You bet. We'll give it a good we pop. got Amanda on the halyard. Okay, so that's locked in there now. Okay. <laughs> so your other half over there. Okay. He's his job is to point us directly into the wind. Okay. And the trick with this that's yours, is to make sure the sail down. comes up directly between all the lazy jacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, nice. You're on the helm, she's on the sails. Cool. Now the main sail is up. So cool. So. <laughs> Good job. So where's Panama City, Vince? Right there. So if we go towards there, which, which side of the boat is the wind going to be on? Uh, port. <laughs> port bird. <laughs> so the wind is going to be on our starboard side. Right, so when the wind is on your starboard side, you are on a starboard tack. Okay. Okay. So we're going to tighten the main sheet. Because we're going to be close hauled. We're going to be sailing close to the wind. Now everything's in place. Now you're going to bear away. Once the wind is 40 degrees, then we'll bring out the jib. How do you feel, man? Very good. You're in charge of parlay right now. Very exciting. So, engines are off and we're sailing. Yeah! We were searching around YouTube channels, uh -huh. and I'm kind of a technical guy because of oh, my are. job. That's right. Yeah. So he's a pilot. He's uh, he flies for Delta. And somebody told me about him, and I went and watched the first episode, oh, really? and it was probably about ten episodes before the bulkhead. So I started going backwards in the series. I was trying okay. to watch forward and backward at the same time. Uh -huh. and same I, exact. Uh, me too. Yeah, and I, so I started watching how he was repairing the boat, and I'm like, okay, okay this is what I like, and. I showed my wife, and so we started watching from the beginning. I want to see this guy start to navigate the globe, really? and okay. I want to help him, and I want to help him do it. Uh -huh. And so I became a Patreon, and I've been watching him since oh, every Saturday. Cool, we just watch, and that's what we do. We're gonna get a uh, catamaran uh, okay. somewhere around the 50-foot range, nice. and, uh, and we're gonna see David Shee out there, and we're gonna be sailing right next to him and try to catch up to Colin I'm halfway around the world. To, I'm gonna be trying to give him right? to Colin. So we're, we're all we'll gonna be trying to down. catch up. Yep. We'll chase him down so, together. So yeah, that's what we're us. Uh, Colin, help us! <laughs> On the helm. How does it feel? I got power. You were watching Parley last week, you're driving her this week. It's, it's, it's a beautiful world. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing these container ships just up close? Uh, yeah, it's a little surreal. And it very much feels like you're gonna cross into them and then you don't. Yeah. I got a suggestion uh -huh. to his episodes. Whatever the thumbnail was, it intrigued me, so I okay. watched the video. What I did is I binged He Has It Broken Down on his channel's playlist well, like different for boat repair. Yeah, I binged definitely. those, and I was trying to convince my dad. I said, I think I found a guy that's going to make you feel like you can do this. And okay. that's the thing about my dad, that having that boat for 50 years, uh -huh. he's done fiberglass work. Oh, he has? Oh, yeah, so oh yeah. Oh. He's done all sorts of work on that, everything for that boat, okay. all the maintenance. But he's lost his confidence for some reason. Okay. And uh, 
I said, I think if you watch this guy, you're gonna get your confidence back. I wow. think it's I think it's doable. I'd never even heard of Patreon, uh -huh. so I must have just saw seen that he was out, you know, saying you can become a Patreon. Yeah. I read about it, and uh, I mean, really, after watching the first ten episodes on his channel, mm -hmm. I was living vicariously through him. Oh, like, okay. So you're I like, should have done what this guy did, but when he came across and discovered the bulkhead and then got hit by lightning. Oh, dude. Um, I knew he had a lot of work in front of him and I yeah. thought, you know, uh, I want to see him get this done as okay. quick as he can and get back in the water and continue this. Even though I really enjoy all those uh -huh. tutorial episodes. Yeah, you still want to see him finish the I want to see him sail. Yeah, I want to yeah. see him finish. I want to yeah, see and him that's cry. when I signed up. And yeah, this guy is incredible uh -huh. that he's so selfless. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, and he gives. And he gives. Gives back. And that's part of his experience is he wants to share it with everyone else. Yeah, he just loves like, this, man. There's he's not a lot of people like that in the world. No, not at all. Come from Austin, Texas to Thrive Parlay. Yeah, it's taking a, it's definitely a learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, very close to this container ship right now. But Colin's not saying anything, that means he's doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying a little bit. He's saying hello. I need, I need a little help here, or a lot of help. Got a little bit of And then we'll turn around and we'll get that with that Wow, dude. You are so close to that ship. Look at that chain. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Look at that! So we just killed the engines. We're doing six and a half knots. The wind's at 40 degrees, so we're close, close hauled right now. We're gonna keep going ahead. She's sailing so good. There's 23 people on this boat. What what'd you say that was? 4,000 pounds? Let's just go with it. 4,000 pounds. <laughs> 4,000 pounds of dead weight. 23 people. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing a uh, quick man overboard drill. Not on purpose, we lost the cushion. So we've got, this is what you do. Everybody points at it. First thing you do, you point at it. Um, one person has to keep their eye on it and never take their finger off, but you just point at it so you don't lose track. And then we're gonna slowly turn the boat around and try to find this cushion that we lost. Jamie's pulling in the head sail right now. Greg is just gonna pull this head sail in by hand. He doesn't need a, he doesn't need a winch. Oh, it's side. 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 But we're gonna be moving. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Get that, Frank. Get that cushion. Woo! Yes! It was moving faster than we were, so I was trying to catch up to it, but it's so light. It's skimming across the surface. We're doing six knots. It's 20 knots of wind straight at us, so we're doing good. We're sailing, baby. I don't want to jump early, I'll end up in the drink. We don't mind. We made it! Yay! Yeah. What a sail! Are you guys ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Beer time, baby! It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and the moment to spend. 